On today's Extra Spooky Star Wars Versus, we have a showdown featuring three of the deadliest and most disturbing biological weapons in science fiction. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Versus. Today's episode features The Flood from Halo and Project Blackwing and the Now Now from Star Wars Legends. In this video, we'll be talking about which one of these organic terrors you'd least like to see in your home galaxy, and we'll also be putting at the very end infected hosts of each virus in a head to head matchup. Before we get there, however, let's take a brief look at each one of these factions, and we'll start with my personal favorite. The Flood. The Flood are a parasitic life form whose sole goal is to consume all eligible organic matter within the galaxy. The Flood are an incredibly dangerous adversary. They spread quickly, they're very difficult to stop, and as they gain more biomass, the share Flood consciousness becomes more intelligent. Although the Flood of small, isolated infections seem mindless, as the infection progresses and the Flood gain the memory and knowledge of those they assimilate, they are able to operate strategically on an extraordinarily high level. During the Forerunner Flood War, the intelligence of the Flood matched that of advanced Forerunner AI. And the only way for organic diversity to be preserved in the galaxy was the firing of the Halo Rings, and this is despite the many incredible achievements of the Forerunners. The Flood are very hardy, and even an early stage Flood infection is difficult to stop. Assimilation is done by either some sort of Flood Spore, or by a Flood Infection form, which uses its tendrils to gain control of a victim's nervous system. Infected hosts then become servants of the Flood, with not only their memories and their knowledge now working for the Flood, but also their physical bodies. An infected Flood control being loses control over most fine motor functions, however gains incredible strength and resiliency. Combat forms are able to run quickly, jump extreme distances, and perform incredible feats of strength. Furthermore, having individual parts of their body destroyed will not hinder them. Flood will also grow tendrils, claws, and other physiological abnormalities which can be used as weapons. That being said, not all infected hosts become combat forms. Some serve to carry on the virus and propagate it further. But again, the most dangerous aspect of the Flood is not their physical strength or their resistance to damage. It's the fact that as an infection propagates, the Flood as a whole become more advanced and capable. Given that early stage infections are very difficult to both detect and stop, and that once an infection has been established, it's basically impossible to rid the population of it without totally destroying the population itself, it makes sense that the Flood are seen as one of the most deadly enemies in science fiction. As I mentioned earlier, the Flood also have an intense desire to assimilate all organic matter within the universe. To accomplish this goal, they'll do everything from repairing and building their own spaceships so they can leave a planet, to manipulating the very matter of space itself. The Flood are no joke. Coming up next is the Nal Nal, a very niche, extra-dimensional species from Star Wars Legends. Like the Flood, the Nal Nal have the basic goal of trying to propagate their species as far as possible across the galaxy. The Nal Nal took the form of Grey Ooze, which was capable of easily infecting nearby organic species. Once infected, a person would have their internal organs digested by the Nal Nal, which would then treat the thing as a sort of puppet. Infected Nal Nal zombies had instantaneous communication and were typically controlled at the exact same time, leading to very stiff, unnatural movements. The main purpose of the zombies are to infect other beings. They do so by spitting Grey Ooze into the face of other organics. Thankfully, the zombies do die fairly quickly, and at that point, the Nal Nal will collect into some form of pool, and it will be more difficult for the virus to be passed on unless someone unknowingly approaches it. The Nal Nal are a very cruel, disturbing, and strange species. Everything we know of them comes from the Unknown Region Sourcebook for the Star Wars RPG Guide. The Nal Nal claims to have existed within the Star Wars galaxy since the beginning of time, predating all other organic species. The book says that it is clear that the Nal Nal have malevolent intent. Its primary tactics of aggression, infecting other beings, and spreading off-world inside their husk do not appear to be based on any sort of survival instinct. Instead, Nal Nal seem to thrive on the suffering of others. The wrenching spectacle of a mother confronted with the reanimated corpse of her own child has been repeated on planet after planet, and the Nal Nal pushes the emotional buttons of other beings to persuade them to open airlocks and deactivate perimeter fences. The Nal Nal are a grave threat to the Star Wars galaxy, particularly to those planets in the Unknown regions. 
However, it seems like they haven't spread too far inward towards the core. This may be in part due to the work of the Celestials. Finally, we have Project Blackwing, an Imperial research project based on the research of a long dead Sith Lord. On a combat level, Project Blackwing zombies, which are infected with the sickness, are fairly similar to the Flood. Although they do lack some of the grace of their living counterpart, they gain incredible strength, the ability to survive otherwise devastating injuries, and an intense, almost insatiable hunger. There are, however, a couple interesting quirks about zombies infected with the sickness. The first is that they do gain more impressive locomotive skills over time and are capable of operating even complex machinery. Second, the zombies are only able to function in areas where the Project Blackwing virus is airborne. If that's not the case, the infected hosts just die. The sickness can be passed on by either bites of the undead or the airborne virus itself. The airborne virus was almost impossible to contain and even very advanced quarantine procedures were often useless against it. When infected, those who were alive would go through an absolutely ghastly transformation into the sickness zombie. However, Project Blackwing also has, on occasion, reanimated the dead. So I think that's a good basic understanding of these viruses. Let's now talk first about the ones that you would least like to see in your home galaxy. I think it's clear that the Flood have the most potential for absolute destruction. In my opinion, they're the most driven, their infection progresses in the most dangerous way with the Flood gaining more intelligence, and I think they have the most efficient self-propagation. The fact that even the Forerunners weren't able to stop the Flood basically seals this category for me. Second would be the Now Now, because like the Flood, they also have in mind the goal for spreading as far across the galaxy as possible. Their methods are just, in my opinion, a lot less effective than the Flood. They don't gain any benefit from infecting further hosts, and when the zombies die, they become relatively useless. That leaves Project Blackwing's version of the sickness at number 3. I think that's deserved as it relies on a bioweapon to further spread, and it just doesn't have the same viral potential as both the Flood and the Now Now. What about the second round though? Which individual host is the most dangerous? I think that this one clearly comes down to Project Blackwing and the Flood. While the Now Now are cruel and deadly in their own way, they don't have the same physical presence of the other two weapons. I am tempted to give this one to the Flood just because we see them do some insane things in the Halo games, and the benefit of a learning group mind also helps the individual zombies. However, we did see Project Blackwing carriers do things like wield lightsabers, which to me is very impressive. So just for that reason, I'll give this category to Project Blackwing, but only just barely. But those are all just my opinions. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Which one of these is worst? Which one would you least like to have in your galaxy? And which individual form do you think is the most deadly? If you want more content on the Flood, make sure to give this video a like. I've been considering doing a Galactic Versus, where I talk about how the Earth could potentially survive a Flood infection. If you want that idea, again, make sure to give this video a like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.